Hey everyone, today we are talking about the 10 things that you need to know about living in Maryland and we're getting started right now. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things living in Maryland. So if that's the kind of information you're looking for, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of our weekly new videos that we're gonna be putting out. And if you ever have any specific real estate questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, the number on your screen is my personal number where you can reach out anytime, call or text if you need anything at all in regards to buying or selling a home here in Maryland. And let's jump right into the 10 things that you need to know about living in Maryland. Okay, number one is Marylanders have some serious state pride as well as flag pride. So you're gonna be seeing the Maryland state flag everywhere you go, when you drive through neighborhoods, when you drive um, down the street and see uh, businesses, you're gonna see the flag everywhere. People also wear it. Uh, there's a ton of Maryland state flag apparel, so you're gonna see it on people's hats, sweatshirts, um, even down to the socks they wear. Um, it still shocks me after six years of living here in Maryland, um, just how much people love the state flag here and how much they love their state, which is really cool. So you're gonna be seeing that everywhere when you're here in Maryland. Number two is in Maryland, um, most people identify with the county that they live in or the county that they were raised in. So um, it's very localized to county, uh, very communal. It feels almost like just everybody knows each other. Um, so it has a, a little bit of a, a small town feel as well. Um, and a lot of the counties have nicknames, you know, uh, here in Howard County goes by Hoco, Montgomery County, Moco, Prince George's County, a lot of times goes by PG County. And it just seems like when you're talking to somebody, it seems like a lot of times there's just kind of a, uh, you, you know, you know somebody who they know and, and that kind of thing. So you're gonna definitely have that feel in most of Maryland and that's very common here in the area. Okay, number three is income taxes. So this is something uh, that you wanna be aware of depending on where you're coming from. Every state's a little different um, with this. Some pay none, um, some have more than others. So Maryland is, is definitely on the higher side. Um, at the state level, most of us are gonna be paying uh, about five and three quarters percent, 5.75 percent. And then the interesting thing about Maryland is that every single county has a income tax in addition to the state income tax. So Howard County, Montgomery County, Baltimore City are among the highest at 3.2% in addition to the 5.75% state level. So a lot of us are gonna be you know, around the 9% total range. So that's something you wanna be aware of. Look at the county you're gonna be living in and check out exactly what their local income tax rate is, but that's always gonna be in addition to the state level. A lot of times, depending if you're not paying it yourself, a lot of times you may not realize it because if you hire an accountant, it's just kind of paid with your state. So um, it's just based on the address that you live in and then they charge whatever that county is. So the lowest is usually around, I think two and a quarter. So it's gonna be somewhere in the two and a quarter to 3.2 range. Okay, number four, is weather. So what's the weather like here in Maryland? Um, the great thing is, is we get all four seasons here. So um, that's awesome. The falls, the springs are beautiful. Um, but one thing you're going to learn when you move here to Maryland is that it's just all over the place. It's totally inconsistent. Um, we always, you know, joke about it as far as Marylanders here. We just, we know that it's all over the place. So um, one day you might have a, you know, some snow and then a couple days later it might be in the 50s uh, or 60s or something like that. So the, the winters are definitely all over the place. We definitely get snow. Um, a lot of times it doesn't stick for too long because it just doesn't usually stay below 32 uh, very long. So you definitely want to be prepared for some snow, uh, but a lot of times it doesn't stick very long. The, they do a pretty good job at getting right out and salt in the roads. Um, a lot of times the school closures are related more to just kind of ice and frozen rain and stuff like that. The counties are usually very conservative. They're not gonna have school typically when there's any kind of ice. So you can expect to, to see a lot of the school closures more related to that than actual snow on the ground. All right, number five, Maryland's nickname is a lot of times known as Little America. The reason for that is because Maryland has it all. We've got beaches, we've got mountains, we've got rivers. We've just, you know, got it all. We've got a good sized city in Baltimore and then it's proximity to DC as well. Um, so you can expect that here in Maryland. Every summer, most families are packing up their bags and heading to either Ocean City or a Delaware beach. So 
when it comes to summertime, most families are gonna be packing up at some point, heading to Ocean City for a few days or a week. It's about a three hour drive, depending on traffic. Also, Western Maryland has uh, some mountains. Most popular is Deep Creek, where you can get out in the winter if you wanna uh, ski, uh, snowboard, do things like that. They've also got an awesome uh, lake uh, for summertime where you can get out and you can water ski, um, pontoon, and just do all, you know everything that you'd like to do, um, everything that a lake community has to offer. And if you'd like to get outdoors and hike or canoe, Maryland's several state parks have your back, so you're gonna have to definitely check out those. Uh, we have tons of rivers around, so it's a great opportunity to get out. So it's a great opportunity to get outdoors and spend time with friends and family. Okay, number six, let's talk about Maryland's economy. So Maryland is actually the wealthiest state in America uh, based on income. So Maryland's average income is right around $82,000 a year. Um, now the cost of living is up there as well, so you're gonna need every penny of that, um, but you can expect well-paying jobs out here when you come to the area. And in 2019, Maryland's GDP was $426 billion, which ranked us number 15 in the country, which is pretty crazy when you look at a map of the US and you can barely even see Maryland. So um, that's pretty cool as well. Coming in at nearly 25% of Maryland's GDP, ranking it number one, is finance, insurance, and real estate. Number two is government work, being almost 20% of Maryland's GDP. And naturally, given our proximity to DC, you can expect a ton of um, government and government contracting available jobs here in the area. Okay, number seven is our proximity to so many different areas. Um, this is something that I personally love just because of where I grew up. I grew up in Southern California. Um, it was quicker for me to get down to Mexico than it was to get to another state. So being here in Maryland, this is something that's really cool. Uh, depending on where you're at, we'll use Baltimore as an example. You're about an hour and a half away from Philly, three hour drive to New York City. So those are definitely two that you can do a day trip to. Um, there's plenty of bus ride and train ride opportunities um, to those as well. Uh, just about 45 to 55 minutes down to DC. So you get a lot of people commuting down to DC for work. Now, Maryland, as far as square miles, is really a small state, especially when compared to uh, all the other ones. However, we rank number 19 in the US with just over 6 million people here in Maryland. So you are gonna notice here in Maryland, our population density is pretty high. We rank number five in the US when it comes to population density with just about 610 people per square mile. And you're really gonna notice that mainly from Baltimore, down to the DC surrounding areas. All right, number eight is Maryland has several historic communities, and this is definitely something that I'd recommend you checking out. Baltimore, Frederick, Annapolis, and Ellicott City are examples of some historic towns um, that are still here. Um, and these are great areas to check out. It just kind of gives you a feel for, you know, some of the roots of these towns and this state given um, that it is one of the original 13 colonies. And it's just a really fun environment and a night out to get out and check out some of those. Okay, number nine is Marylanders love their sports. So you are gonna see tons of Ravens fans, tons of Orioles fans all throughout the state. Now, we are a little divided just because given our proximity to DC, so depending on the area you're in, for example, if you're in Montgomery County, um, parts of uh, Prince George's County and things like that, you're gonna see more uh, DC fans, more Redskins fans, or should I say Washington football team fans. Um, still waiting for their new name. Now, depending on where you're at, for example, in a lot of Montgomery County, PG County, you're gonna see more Washington DC fans. But if you're not uh, in the part of Maryland that's directly surrounding DC, it's gonna be almost exclusively Baltimore fans. And then since Baltimore does not have a hockey team all throughout Maryland, um, it's growing in popularity. You're gonna see Washington Capitol fans all across the state, which is pretty cool, especially given some of their success in the last few years. And last but not least at number 10, Maryland, specifically Baltimore, is home to the national anthem. Francis Scott Key, who is actually from Frederick, Maryland, in 1814 wrote the national anthem at Fort McHenry, um, which is actually in Locust Point, which is a little neighborhood in Baltimore now that's been built up over the years. Um, tons of history all throughout the state, so that's definitely something you should check out as well. All right, everyone, those are my top 10 things to know about living in Maryland. If you ever have any questions or need anything at all, feel free to reach out anytime, and we'll see you at the next video.